Local time in Gansu, in China. In the early hours of the 19th of December 2023, a magnitude 5.9 earthquake hit the region. Well, the earthquake happened at a depth of around 10 kilometers, and according to the United States Geological Survey earthquake team, it occurred on a type of fault known as a thrust fault, most likely on a fault plane that dipped gently towards the west-southwest. Why did it happen? What's the tectonic setting of this earthquake? The earthquake happened on the very edge of the Tibetan plateau. And it's not alone. This is a compilation of earthquakes published by USGS for an eight year period of magnitude five earthquakes. And the Gansu earthquake shown by the star is just the latest in a series of major devastating earthquakes to hit this part of Asia. Tectonically, what's going on? As the Indian Ocean opens, the Indian continent drives northwards at around four and a half centimetres a year, deforming the crust that lies to the north. This is the Tibetan Plateau. This collision has been going on for around 50 million years. What's been happening? So let's step back in time and look side on 50 million years ago as the Indian continent collides initially with the Eurasian continent shown on the left. But it doesn't stop there. The Indian continent continues to be driven northwards, thickening up and crumpling the Eurasian continent. And the surface expression of all this deformation is the Tibetan plateau. And the tectonics continue today evidenced by the earthquake record. So what do these earthquakes tell us? So let's step back and look at the nature of the earthquakes around the Tibetan area, just picking out a few. And we can use these focal mechanisms or beach ball shapes to establish the faults, their orientation and which way they're moving. And to these historical earthquakes, we can add the December earthquake And if we read the record of all these beach balls, this is what's going on. As India drives northwards, Tibet is being pushed out sideways, shown by those blue arrows, pushing the Tibetan crust against the adjacent crustal areas, causing faulting on the margins. And that's the origin of the Gansu earthquake. Similar types of earthquakes occur on the margins of the Sichuan Basin and all the way around the edge of the Himalayas and the Tian Shan Mountains. The USGS reports that 23 magnitude 5.5 earthquakes and larger have occurred within 250 kilometers of last night's earthquake since 1900, including a magnitude 6.5 earthquake in 1990. Earthquakes like this are an unavoidable consequence of India's remorseless drive northwards into the rest of Eurasia and the continental deformation that occurs as a consequence. 